Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the date picker from jQuery, and we're going to be using this on web apps. And I'm going to show you how I brought in the libraries for jQuery and put this into a web app. So I'll demonstrate this. Well, I'll just put a name here, and this is just a basic form here. Say Tim. I tabbed over, now I can pick my date from the date picker. I can go to end date and pick that and then select add. And from there, it puts it in my table here, this record here. So I'll go through this and I'll show you a step by step of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my Google Sheet. I got it called Web App Date Picker is the name of my spreadsheet. And my sheet name is Sheet1 down here. And all I have is a header row here of name, start date, and end date. That is it. There's no formulas or anything, just this header row here. And this is where I'm going to be populating the data from the web form. So next let's go to Tools, Script Editor. I'm going to give it a name, Web App Date Picker, I'm going to hit OK. Next I'm going to copy in my Google Apps Script functions. Here I have it copied. Uh, my first function here is the do get function that is needed for publishing the web app right here. And basically what this does is it calls out a file, your HTML file, which we're going to go ahead and create now. So I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to New, I'm going to go to HTML File, I'm going to call this Web App. Now, I'm going to call it the same name as what I got it up here. These have to match because what this, this does is it opens up this file when you're publishing it. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to create a web app file, HTML, and this is the basic data in that file. So again, this calls the do get, which is a standard Google Apps Script function that creates an HTML output file for your web app. And this is the one command that I'm returning back from it. So again, you need this to be able to publish the web app. I'll explain this function here after I I'm gonna go ahead and paste my HTML code in here so here I have my HTML code posted uh, I'm gonna go through it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post both the Google Apps Script code here and the HTML code below my video on the comments section I'm gonna go through the HTML right now uh, here is basically left from my basic code that was generated when I create the file. These next three lines are the libraries. This is the jQuery library, the jQuery CSS, and then you need this jQuery UI as well. Now where I found these is on this Google hosted libraries website and it's uh, developersgoogle.com speed libraries. I'll add this into the description of the video as a reference but I'm taking the jQuery over here I'm taking this top one here this is the latest and I'm also taking the jQuery UI and the UI comes with the CSS link and the jQuery UI min JS as well you need all three of these to get the date picker to work you can go ahead and copy those over I have them copied in here already the next statement next section is my script my JavaScript I'll come back up for that I'm gonna talk about the layout of the web app I got my name which I'm gonna be bringing in my start date and my end date and I'll, I have them all ID so I got name as the ID start date is the ID and end date is the ID these are all just basic input HTML input text boxes and I have another input button and the value says add and it has 
on click of an add record. So when this is clicked, I'm going to be calling a JavaScript function up here called add record. But let's go first go through this, the document ready here. And this is a jQuery statement here. This only works with the jQuery library. Basically what this is doing here, this gets called when the whole sheet is rendered with all the HTML is populated. So it's just like an on load, on load trigger action for JavaScript. But jQuery made a nice easy way to be able to call this when the sheet is fully rendered up. So when it's fully rendered up, what it's going to do is it's going to take the start date here, my ID, and the end date, and it's going to apply the date picker to it, these two fields. So without this, that calendar isn't going to show up when I click on the box. These are very important, these two steps here, because that gets gets it ready to be able to be clicked on and to be able to pick a date and actually attaches the library to these fields down here for the date picker. So that happens after the sheet is loaded. The next, the other action is this add record function, which is the next thing here. And what this does, it's going to grab the name from get element by ID, the value, the start date value, the end date value. It's going to grab the value from the IDs. Then it's going to call this Google App Script function add record. And it's going to pass the name, start date, and end date to it. So if I go over here, I got my add record statement, which I have my name, start date, and end date. And from there, what I'm doing is now I have to give it a Google Sheet to populate. So here, this is from an old Google Sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my Google Sheet here. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. Right there. So that is one thing to remember. You have to copy and paste your own Google Sheet that you're going to populate right here. From there, I'm taking that URL, I'm opening up the URL and declaring the SS object to the spreadsheet here. And then from this spreadsheet, I'm declaring the web app sheet from my sheet one name here. So I'm spe specifying the sheet that I'm going to be working on. So this is sheet one. And then from there, I'm appending, the ro appending a row to the web app sheet with name, start date, and end date. So appending basically takes the next r open row and it's going to add a record to it. So again, my name, start date, and end date. So we go right there. So that concludes all our code. Um, I'll go back over to web app HTML here. And then after it gets done calling this, it empties out my text boxes and clears them out. So I'm ready to enter another record. So it just doesn't leave the data in there. So I got both of my files saved here. I'll go back over to Google Apps Script. From here, I'm going to go ahead and publish. So I'm going to hit Publish, Deploy, and a Web App. And here it's going to say Version. I'm going to say New as well. I'm only going to execute the app as me and who access it only myself. I'm going to deploy it. It's going to take me through permissions. Let's select that my account, advanced, go to web app data picker, and I'm going to allow. That's going to give me my sheet. Here I can take this address. This is the actual execution file that it gives me. That is actually what I would consider the production version. But I could go over to this and go to the latest code, which is a development copy of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So now i got my name, start date, and end date. I go test it out. Pick the date. And end date. And I can hit add. I go over my sheet. It is populated. So I can go over to my date picker. Again, I'm using the test version link. If you want the production link, you can use this one. Um, 
if you make a change in here, especially your HTML file, you have to go ahead and republish it with a new version. And then it'll give you a new URL. But if you don't want to go, if you just want to test your changes as you're going, you can click, click the latest code and it'll give you a development link. So you don't have to keep revisioning your project over and over again to test it. Just just gives you a quick way to test it without having to version your copy over and over again. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.